I have a slight idea what this video is about. <laughs> I've really got to stop these cringy introductions. Today, we're looking at Slight. It's a wiki application that competes with apps like Coda, Notion, and even others that are like Tetra in the space. It's sort of like your team's knowledge base. I reviewed it here on Keep Productive a while ago. It was a while ago, and it's a good application for teams, but we're going to re-review it and give you an idea of what's included in the features. Also, give you an idea of what it's and who it's best for. So, in terms of Slides features, it has evolved a lot since last time I checked it out. In its premise, it's a knowledge base. So it's uh, the place for teams to capture all their knowledge in their basic, basically their brain, the team brain, and having it in one location. A lot of the time, information gets trapped in silos like Slack, Microsoft Teams, and bringing that together in one location is pretty helpful, especially for things like onboarding, processes, and improving the speed of certain uh, systems. Now, one of the things that has changed is they now have projects in this. You can naturally create these projects to organize you and your team's workflow and also refine steps and processes that are part of a certain team member's job. It's also got some great abilities for onboarding and they've also recently launched an ability called AI Assistant, which is something we've seen in a lot of applications, but this is in particularly helpful because you can use a command bar to search across all of the team knowledge base that is in Slide and be able to find a specific question using OpenAI's integration. That's what I think it is anyway. But it's an impressive feature that definitely takes Slide a step further. So who is this best for? It's for teams who are looking to bring a knowledge base together that aren't looking for, say, the complexity of something like Notion, but need something that is reliable, presents an interesting and easy UI, and that gives you some AI functionality on top of that to be able to search and ask more natural questions to the AI to be able to get an output. It's questions like, where is the best place to find our operating manual for a new employee? and it automatically helps you to find that across the knowledge base. So a really interesting application at that, that's priced at $8 a month if you go for the pro pricing. The free pricing gives you an option to get started, but limits you to 50 documents and discussions, and discussions is something that's really helpful in Slide. So if you're interested, you can find it below. This application is growing on me. It's almost at a five. It's very close to a five, just because of the way they've evolved over the last couple of years but I'm gonna be giving it a four in today's video. So hopefully we helped you find an application in this video. If you're not subscribed to Keep Productive yet, do check that out. And I look forward to helping you grow with your decisions and your productivity applications in the future. So thanks very much, folks, and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Cheerio.